Choo-choo! Well, folks, welcome back to another episode. Today, we're starting the day off with a uh, little bit of lunch, actually. Um, we're, we're hungry. We're hoping to catch dinner. We are going to go on a catfishing adventure. Why did I say catfishing? I have no idea. We're going to go on a catfishing adventure a little bit later, but today's episode is basically going to start off at good old-fashioned Mick. Donald's. We've been doing something, you know, not every video by any means, but here and there where we do these little kind of just casual mukbangs. Me me and Pool Jet, we've been doing that at Wendy's. We did the Wendy's breakfast and we did Wendy's was jalapeno bacon cheddar fries. And pretty much the only restaurant that's open in this town right now is McDonald's. So I was thinking like, boys, what do we, oh God, there's, oh my, there's a huge line. Well, I got plenty of time for an intro. There's 12 freaking cars here. But we were talking and we're like, hey, all right, so we're going to go to McDonald's. Okay. What, what could you get at McDonald's that, you know, maybe you guys at home haven't had, haven't tried, but you know, you might want to try it. You think it might be decent. In. And then so we Googled it. We're like, what are the secret menu items at McDonald's? So there was a bunch of different stuff, a bunch of whack stuff. And so we picked the three wackiest things out there to try. And what we're going to do is we got to get the roulette wheel out and we're going to roulette for who gets what. So do you have, um, I've got my phone out that I screenshotted some of them. So one of them is a classic. It is the, uh, McBang Gang. All right, we're gonna we're gonna say it like that for the youngsters at home, but you guys get the idea. Which is just a McDouble and a McChicken, right? And you put it together, right? It's not really anything crazy. Okay, so get the old bang on there. Then you've got a McChicken and waffles. Now you might be wondering what's a McChicken and waffles. It is a McChicken, but instead of a normal bun, you use a McGriddle, and so that's the uh, McChicken and waffles. And then the third one is the Land, Sea, and Air Burger, which this is the Kager. Whoever gets this. That's going to be interesting. They're not going to be hungry for a while because it is a burger. This is what it says. It's a Big Mac fish, o filet -O fish and a McChicken all together stacked. So you get the land and the air and the sea. You get the cow, you get the chicken, and you get the fish. Bonzo's, oh, bon which, one do you, which one do you want? If you were going to say, hey, I'll take that one. That one's not bad. Honestly, the waffle one sounds That sounds fine. Because yeah. like, I've had you want, that You want before. the bang gang? Yeah. yeah, so I've already had that. Okay. So I figured might as well go for okay. something different. All right, Bonzo, you spin it, and that's gonna be whatever you get okay so i'm really hoping it's the land air <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna be hungry no, i don't think it'll be too yeah. bad but it's not gonna be great oh come on oh no you got waffles, waffles. Oh. all right so it's up so to it's you up and to me us. no okay. no all right all right go ahead and spin, well, spin. spin. oh, oh freaking wow. app God, son of a all right, land, air, and sea is what oh, you're boy. gonna get come on don't give it to me 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 Oh, we landed on... Nope. Oh, I didn't take that off. Oh, you, oh, you didn't take I yours off. Oh. Good. There you go. Yep. I just want the bang gang. I don't want the uh, land air and sea. No, that thing sounds <laughs> gross. Oh, yes, 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 <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why? Yes, yes. All right, so I get the bang gang. Bonzo gets the chicken and waffles. And you. Oh, they're fighting. Are they yelling at us? No, there's some lady was yelling at some dude. I thought somebody wanted to square up. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and order. This is going to be interesting trying to order this because these people here probably are not going to... Like, for the land errancy, should we try to make them make it? Or do we just order three no, separate burgers and put it together? Make them make yeah, it. If they don't, just tell them you want a good. Big Mac, but inside the Big Mac you want a McChicken yeah. patty. And within that, you want a filet yeah. fish patty. You gotta call it the land. The land air. And I, I'll just ask him if yeah. I I'll, can I get the land air and see and see what they say. Yeah. You guys stay tuned. Hey, you to go to the How can I help you? All right. So uh, I would like a McChicken and waffles, um, which is the instead of the bun on a McChicken, it's a Mc, McGriddle. Can I get that? What's that? We're not doing McGriddles after ten thirty. Oh, oh no, make griddles at oh, ten thirty. What was the other one? It was uh. Okay, that's fine. Can I get a uh? Can I get a McDouble? Actually, can I get four McDoubles and then uh? I'll do a McChicken and then can I get the Land Sea and Air Burger, which is a Big Mac with a filet o fish and a McChicken patty inside. I'll just charge you individually for all of the items. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and repeat it. There's a Big Mac, a fish fillet, and a McChicken. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then I'll do two more McChickens and a Big Mac. He's not playing our games. We're going to have to build our own sandwiches. Well, that'll do it. 
That'll be 26 Thank you. Yeah, Homie was not about the, the um, custom menu life. He's yeah. like, he, he charged me for for the land errancy. He charged me for an entire Big Mac, an entire McChicken, and an entire fish fillet, even though I only wanted the patties. So we're going to we're gonna have to park in the parking line. We're going to have to do, build a burger here and see how it goes. Shoo! All right, folks. Well, a little change of plans. Bonzo could not get the old Bang Gang. No, wait. Which one did couldn't you get? No, you couldn't get chicken and waffles. Is what We got the Bang Gang, but you had to get the, what was it? It's the, called a Big McChicken. A so big, it's like a, a big, big Mac big with chicken. With chicken. In, in it too. Okay, so so we're gonna have to assemble because the guy he just did not play our, our games here. He he was just like, I'm gonna have to turn you for off. And I went, listen, all right, we're just trying to have fun. So let's go ahead and start with yours since yours is like the colossal. What what is mine? It's a McChicken. Big it's, Mac it's a big and the fish it's, a, it's a Big Mac, and then you just need to take the fish fillet patty oh. and then the McChicken patty and put it into okay. one. So start with the Big Mac, take the top bun off. And maybe maybe put the fish fillet here and then put the chicken in, on the other side of that middle bun. Of oh god, oh, look at that tartar yeah. sauce. Everybody loves a little tartar sauce oh. in their life. McDonald's tartar sauce is just good. Oh well, well sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that? Do, I, then, do I keep this bun no. or remove I remove the bun? Yeah, right? take the bun. And then yep, and then put that on there. And then your McChicken, I would put it under that middle bun. So it's like you get an even you know, it's like chicken, bun, fish, burger, bun. You know, meat. it's not all just meat in the middle. Yeah, I see what you're oh, you get more sauce. They love the sauce here. I love a combination of sauce. Slide it in there real nice, like, yep. Oh, yeah. Eww. Oh, this is a Kentucky. There you go. That's wow, it. This is huge. That's a land, air, and oh sea burger. Stick that in your mouth. Stick that meat right in your freaking face. Look at, let me get a shot of this. <laughs> That's a land, air, and sea, my I guy. Think. Wow. That's a thick She's burger there, big. son. You got it? I, I believe in you. Oh, oh, what that mouth do? Chew! Wow. Oh, oh God! Gross. I bet I bet it's really not that bad. I mean, it all mixes together. It all pretty much tastes the same. What do you think? What do you think? Oh God! It's actually really good. Is it good? Really? It no! Is. I'm not no! It cannot not be bad. good, really. Would That's you crazy. like a bite? No, absolutely not. I'm good. Okay. No, I, I've got well, my own contraption to make, which is going to be. What did I get? Did I you get the bang, the bang gang? gang. Oh, I got the bang gang. All right, let's, oh, let's work on one. that. All right, so we've got a McDouble and a McChicken. And you combine these guys. This is a classic. How much do you com like? Here, I'll pull up your picture. How much do you combine? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is it just mm, patty I or you, is it like, it's probably like that, I bet. Yeah. Cause then, and then you slap yeah, the that, that seems fair. Does that seem fair? I got two top buns going. So this is, <laughs> that is the old bang gang there, buddy. All right, here we go. It's not as bad as I thought. Honestly, no, it's not bad. I might start ordering this on a regular. Pretty good? Yeah. You know, that's what mine has to look like. So you basically would have what I have, but no you buns. no bun. And it's just but it's also a Big Mac. Oh God. Yeah. Well, Bonzo's is going deep. All right, so you take so a Big Mac and you remove the, the top and the bottom bun. And for the top bun, you use a McChicken patty. And for the bottom bun, you use a no, McChicken patty, I have right? two chicken patties on the top. There's three total. Wait, what? You got yeah. one in the middle too? Oh yes. my. I would just, I thought you just put it as the buns and call it good. I kind of. You're, you're one patty less. I didn't order. It's all right. What is Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. All right, give, give her I honestly bet that it's going to be fire. It's just chicken and meat. Is it, is it pretty good? Best thing from McDonald's. Best thing. Is that is that the new strat? Mm-hmm. The funny thing is, is like we each get one burger and it costs us thirty dollars because of how much we had to order it to acquire the meat patty. Because Dingus and McDonald's wouldn't give me just the meat patties. He's like, I gotta get that. What? Listen, Rick. All I gotta say is the old Bang Gang. You want a bite of this? It's fire. I'm, I'll, take sure? it, I'll take your word for it. Although I am very hungry, this tastes absolutely fire. I would say, what are you going to rate yours out of 10? Yeah, what do you this think? Thing? Yeah, what do you think that is out of 10? I'm going to go like an 8. Okay, what do you get? What do you rate yours? Nine and a half. Probably like a eight or nine. Honestly, they're pretty good. You guys at home, try it. The Bang Gang, the Land Air and Sea. I think that's the funniest one. It's, it's just so excessive. And then yours, well, all meat. All meat. No bread. If you're on a, if you're, what is it called, keto? Can't have, can't have bread. If you're on a keto diet, well, you got a piece of bread in the middle there, but if you're on a keto diet, hey, that's all you gotta do right there. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and finish up and we're gonna head off to catch some bait to go catfishing. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks. Well, all of us feel like absolute poop right now. We do not feel good, but Zach's here. Zach, you're gonna save the day, aren't you? You're you're on, uh, what'd you say, green sunfish green duty? Sunfish. He's, he's dialed. He's taking us to some juice here. We're hoping we can get on the green sunfish. Bonzo looks like, I mean, I we got milk and toast feel, here. You guys, that was a bad call. Dude, combo. none of us feel good at all. And like, I don't know. I, like, I've eaten McDonald's obviously like a fair amount of times throughout my life. And I, I don't think I've ever felt like this. It's gotta be like the combination where like your stomach's just like something ain't right. It's turning. 
Tell them it's it's doing the old dangle it's or something. Doing, it's doing it. So we're gonna try to catch some bait for catfish. If you guys know anything about catfishing? Congrats, because I don't. You know more than me. But we're you know what I've heard is live bait or cut bait. You know either one really is uh, is the juice. So we're gonna try to catch a few yes little critters, and then we're gonna head over to Spillway and do some catfish dangling. You guys stay tuned. I'm gonna go try for something a little bit bigger. You know we might catch catfish here, or maybe I'll just catch a, a giant green sunfish. But I've got the old cat rod. I'm just gonna throw a big night crawler on it and see what, see what happens. Bounce those on basically bluegill green sunfish duty so far cheeks are what that's the old that's the old rig there so see what happens oh i got one oh oh i got a catfish what did i say rick oh yeah it's a little boy ain't it yeah yeah hey, let's keep them maybe let's just throw them on a hook hole maybe we catch a river monster spillway monster you never know well i got a fish we're still trying to get a little bluegill but we're gonna go throw this guy in the bucket oh you got one. Oh. hey what up rick that's perfect yeah that'll work yeah. the old sunfish a little bluegill sunfish. All right. Bluegill. Told you exactly what to save the day. Bonzo, look at this guy. He's got one titty out, straps on the wrong side. Is that the strap though? That is. It's like a satchel. Yeah. A little, little sling man action. Satchel. A little, little man satchel. It's a little warmer. We want to have a hoodie on. You'll be loving that. Yeah, true. That's what you guys ladies are after. So we've got a bullhead for bait. I'll probably throw that bullhead out for just like big chunks. Like you, you never know what's going to be in the spillway. And then we, we're going to see if we can get a couple little bluegills for just like some average sized catfish. But so far, Bonzo's pretty much cheeks. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got another one. Oh, what up, Rick? This guy is even better size. That's the old squeak, squeak, McGee there. Woo! I'm already racking up the old catfish. Do you know how to tell the difference between a bullhead and a catfish? That's a bullhead. That's a bullhead? Yeah. Just because how small the, little, the small channels have spots on them. Oh, yeah. the more you know. Take them. Take them, Rick. Oh, oh yeah. let's go. That's there a perfect go. size one. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, these are perfect. Look at this cute little guy. How do you even get that in? Look at this. These are these are beautiful little fish. They're Doubled so up. We're all Killing doubled it. up. We were gonna do cup bait for bluegills, but I'm thinking we got one bluegill for cup bait. These guys pull on a hook. I think have a good shot at getting a fish too. So well, I think that's enough bait for now. We've also got some like gizzard shad looking things too. Anyways, we're gonna go catfish. Stay tuned. All right, folks, we're headed down to freaking Narnia here. Look at this. Can you hear it? Listen. Oh yeah, fucking spillway. We are, uh, we're gonna kind of meander our way down to the spillway and we, we're gonna try catfish. We got how many rods? Two, three, four, four, four rods for the old kitty cats. And uh, hopefully we catch a big one. All right, we're about halfway there, folks. We're, I am soaking wet and not in a good way. Oh yeah, we found the juice, folks, Woo! down in freaking Narnia. Oh, this is, this looks good. It is flowing like Bill freaking loan, folks. I've got a good feeling about this. Look at this. Oh yeah, she is absolutely free. So it's like a perfect little pool and then it runs into that creek so basically all the fish are gonna be somewhat trapped in here i got something for you oh yeah that's secret the sauce that's his old secret sauce bonzo makes a secret sauce for catfish we don't ask questions on what's in it or not he just says it's the juice so we're gonna get everything rigged up and throw some lines out we got a couple rod holders and uh wish us luck all right so rig number one we got this old bluegill we'll cut him up i'm gonna throw my hook through the head maybe potentially without hooking myself oh yeah oh, there, there you go look. so we got the old double rig with the little floaty with the little weight so the, ideally the weight will sit at the bottom float up and our cut bait will be floating up so that's the cut bait setup we'll throw this out Oh God, yeah. We'll see if that weight's this weight's not super heavy, so we'll make sure it's heavy enough. If not, we could pull it off the side of the current. But I think it's holding. Throw maybe throw that super heavy rig, maybe throw in the current and then throw a couple out and just kind of scatter around and hopefully the best. So this one, pap. you want to do old paps. Alright. I, need, I need gloves for this one. This is gets nasty. Alright, cough. Oh god, this I'm is gonna be this is gonna be rank. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes sir dude this there's no way this is like a there's no way something on this earth smells this bad i mean this is bad i don't think any of you guys have smelled anything quite like this it's all right we got all stanky all right this got a super heavy weight on it so we're gonna throw this right in the middle of the current oh yeah well that's pretty deep i hit the bottom all right we got another rod holder if there's catfish in here that's gonna catch us too. i mean i got some on my finger that's just mm. <clears throat> all right, we got one more. All right, last rig here. So we've got cup bait, got some like gizzard nasty stuff, and then we're gonna throw some live bait. So I'm gonna take one of these small bull heads and we're gonna throw it on one of these hooks. And there we got a bobber rig on it. So it'll kind of, it'll just kind of bounce around. It'll be more of the suspended. These two are kind of, you know, suspended off the bottom a little bit, but essentially just bottom, bottom bait. Let's grab one of these small ones. That one I caught pretty big. We caught a couple small ones though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, spikes got me good there. That's, that feels neat. All right, oh yeah, a little live bait. You never know what you're gonna catch with live bait. Could be a 10 pound largemouth back here. All right, so this one I'm gonna go throw a little bit away from the current more just in the pool area 
And there you go. And Bonzo's got a little rig. You can throw a little night crawler on that one if you want. We might do a little night crawler action. That way we've got four different baits going. Oh, uh, he's he's swimming around pretty good. It might not work. He might just swim around too much. We'll see. So go ahead and uh, shove this guy in. And now we sit and wait. We might have our first bite on our hands, folks. The bobber's plunged three times now. I don't think he has enough power to do that. But with a circle hook, I'm gonna let him eat it all the way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on now. So right now, we've had three good plunges with the bobber. And we're kind of keeping an eye on it. I don't know if a fish has it in its mouth, but I mean like the whole time that the little bullhead was swimming around, it didn't pull it under and it fully plunged three times. And now it's just sitting here. So we're watching it. And with the circle hook, you want to make sure that the fish completely inhale it. Like they don't want them just to nip on it. You don't really want to set the hook. They kind of let the catfish hook themselves. So the thing is, if something bit that big of a live bait, there's a chance it could be like a giant flathead, which I've never even caught a flathead catfish. So he's swimming with it. He's still going. This is this might get interesting. I'll we'll see if he's there. Nope. Rip. Did he tore up at all? Not really. All right, I'm gonna try getting him over in that pool. I don't know if it was a fish or not. What we've decided to do, I just re-threw that one just because I wasn't sure if it was a fish or not. Um, but we have a 15 minute timer. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on catfishing. A lot of people are saying like 15, 20 minutes, you don't have a bite, you need to change your bait or move. And we pretty much have every bait choice possible. And so after 15 minutes, I'm gonna throw all, we already started with this one. I'm gonna throw the other ones in that far cove and then do this cove and just try to kind of go around because they may not be in the thick current. Like the, the real strong current, they might not be there. They might be on the outside. We're not really sure, but I just re-threw the, uh, the old live bait out and I think we've got maybe five minutes. To, yeah, six minutes and we'll re retoss everything else out. If you guys have any catfishing tips for like a spillway like this, we're using the wrong rig. Like I, I'm using the old boat rig. I've never used them before, so they might not be the right way of doing it. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But I'm hoping we get a fish. Bless you. All right, let's, well, it could have a fish. It's pulling. No. Oh yeah, we still got the old goods there. All right, I'm gonna try yeeting this thing into this cove here. That one's reset. Let's reset the, the old cup bait. All right, I'm going to throw this one in the cove as well. A little bit off the current. That way, if the fish aren't sitting inside the current itself, they'll have a chance at getting this the old live bait action. The old cup bait, I should say, not live bait. Oh, I think we might have one on this. I was watching the line. It looked like it was swimming. It could be fish hitting the line, too, like while they're swimming down the down current and stuff. It wasn't like a catfish like this. It just like vibrated. We're going to get a fish. I got a good feeling, folks. We just got to get the right place, the right time with the right bait, but it's going to happen. All right, it's been another 15 minutes, folks. Rip. I'd say you're stuck. I really don't want to break this rig. Oh, that, that broke. And nothing. Well, that was neat. Uh, I was going to move that rig, but that really got stuck. Biggin. Biggins, baby. I'm going to try even further back in this cove, maybe. Well, I broke off one rig. I don't really feel like retying, to be honest with you. We'll let that one sit. I'm going to throw this live bait one up in this cut just to change it up and see. Oh yeah, that's the old spot there. Cause it's right on the side. So the catfish could sit there and wait for something to swim past. That's a good cast. Well, we freaking suck folks. The old spillway, not the deal. I thought for sure we were gonna get some fish, but who knows, could be for a bunch of different reasons. Let me know, like, is this the rig? See, as a bass fisherman, I think this is too much like jewelry, you know? Like, just, like this thing next to the bait would, this thing next to the bait I feel like isn't that good, but we've got another spot, one last spot. It's not a spillway, it's more of like a pond that we're gonna go try giving it a little dangle for some more kitty cats. You guys stay tuned. Well, we made it. Bonds is out there. The one glove. You're getting, you're getting her done. Look, you got the rod holders in your back pocket. What do you got in your What do you got in your left pocket? Oh, the special sauce. The special sauce. Yeah. That's nice. Anyways, we're at the new pond. Oh, last God. stop of the day. Try to get a couple catfish. I'm gonna go ahead and throw. Oh, it's the same. This is the same guy. I have hiccups. That's neat. A little bullhead action. Yeah, we'll cut his dorsal off that way. <gasps> wow, this sucks. That way, I don't have to worry about his dorsal messing my hookup ratio. All right, go ahead and get this guy out. This is our. This is gonna be our live bait rig with the old big bobber. Let's see what happens. Oh, that looks good. Got the old rod holder. Boom, one rod down, a few to go. This is a different rig, I broke this one off. So I got this little slip bobber majigger. I don't know if that thing's gonna work or not, but we're gonna throw some secret, actually, you th go ahead and throw, get some secret sauce I on that. You. I'll get the cup bait. All right, a little cup bait, there we go. All right, let's get the old cup bait out. We're actually in a pretty good spot because the wind's blowing in, so I feel like all the fish should be kind of pushed up looking for food. We're good. All right, we got one more rod to get out and we should be set. Not at all where I wanted that to go. Uh, that's a little bit better. All right. You got one. Bonzo's hooked up. It's gone. Freaky. We're good. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Got him. Got him. 
Got him. Oh, oh. no! Bullhead. Rip! On the old Nightcrawler rig, huh? Oh, a little bullhead came off. Son of a gun. This one had a bite. I'm gonna let him eat it. Dude, the whole rod was like... This is on the live bait, or the cut bait. Let him eat it. Let him take it. I don't want to rush the man. I don't think so. Dang it. I don't think he could have eat it. Let it eat any longer. The old cut bait. That had a fish, though. He was like... Just a catfish grabbed onto it. Throw it back out there. All right, false alarm, folks. We had one. Next time, I'm gonna let it. I'm just gonna let keep it in the rod holder and let it hook itself without grabbing it. I'm used to bass fishing, right? I'm not good at catfishing. This next one, I'm gonna let it hook itself inside the rod holder before I grab it. We're gonna pop a squat on this one. He's tight. It's a catfish, 100%. Yeah, I think he's got it. I think we give him the old tug, or what do you think? All right, I say we just hit this guy. You ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Rick. Yoo! That's a giant old bullhead there, son. Yee yes, sir, on the old cut bait. Finally. That was a problem. See how small their mouths are? It's about the size of the cut bait, so that's why it took so long to, to finally let him eat. Is that your PB? I wouldn't say I think we've honestly caught some bigger ones down so? at the farm. He's a fat son of a gun. He though. is fat. God dang. I've never had a bullhead before. We are we are gonna catch clean cook this guy. Finally. You, you you're not excited? It's it's wow. a catfish. It's an ugly looking catfish. It means it tastes bad probably. What if it's the flame and yon? I'm not it buying could definitely it. be the flame and yon. Just looks gross. Dude, that's a that's a chunky monkey right there, son. <laughs> well, we finally got dinner after 17 spots and three and a half thousand hours later. Finally got ourselves the old catfish. We're gonna take this sucker home, throw him in the fryer. You guys stay tuned. Boom, folks. We got the old bullhead here. He's actually a pretty good size. I mean, just to show you guys, he's neater. I've never had a bullhead before, so we're gonna give it the old try here. But we're I'm gonna cut him up just kind of how I do everything else. Kind of feel around for the bones here. So we're gonna start, you're gonna start up here. And you can just kind of follow the spine straight down. Keep going all the way down. You don't wanna go all the way, but just you want to get, I'll tell you where to stop here. So just keep going just a little bit further. Stop about there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cut and follow the bone that goes this way. So you feel that bone there. You want to cut down. There's a bone right there. You got to go around. They're not too bad because they don't have scales. So you can actually feel cut like that. And then just go ahead and cut all the way to its, its stomach right here. All right. So then once you kind of got them cut up like this, so I'm not an expert, but just go ahead and get your pliers in there. But you don't want to grab the meat. You just want to grab the skin. Just get a good grip on that skin with some skinning tools. You just pull it like that. You might break off like that, but get in there and grab them again. It's no big deal. So you can see a pretty easy way to get the old skin off there. So once you've got the skin off, what you're going to do is just follow that spine all the way down. So you can kind of pull it off to the side and just run it along in their rib cage. There's their ribs right there. So follow it just around that rib cage. Try not to miss too much meat. Again, this is not the proper technique for sure, but it's what works for me. Just go ahead and cut your filet from the bottom there. And that's pretty much your meat. So then just go ahead and finish her off about like that. I didn't miss, no, I didn't really miss too much. There's a little bit of meat on there, but like I said, I'm not professional. Not a little bad filet. So basically do the same thing the other side, give her a little rinse and we're gonna toss her in the fryer. You guys stay tuned. Boom, folks, look at that old catfish. Phew, see we got, we even got some tummy meat bonds up. That's gross. I was watching a video on how to get the tummy meat. So I got the tummy meat and it's basically on its tummy. And then this is the normal fillets. So what we're gonna do, we've got this little contraption here. This is gonna throw a little light flour base on this. And uh, then we're gonna throw it in some egg. And then we're gonna throw it in some secret seasoning. It's a spice, can't really divulge too much about it. It's in prototype stage, but it's, it's, it's a good spice. So we're gonna go ahead and give it one of those guys. I don't think that lid was on all the way. You are no. spilling. Was I? Yeah, out here. Nah, 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 we'll be all right. So then you just, you kind of, just shake out the excess. So side to side instead of the up and down, you know what I mean? Shake out the excess. Look at this. You know why? Because okay. you give it the old shake. So give it the old shake here, just like that. Then you're going to throw it in the old egg wash, which is going to basically make everything all sticky. Throw it in the old egg like this, give it the old wash, let it kind of drip. You don't want it too wet. I said we just do one piece and just see how it goes. All right, so you give it the, you give that, I'll let you be on shake duty for that. There, yep, yep, see, you're, you're getting her figured out. You go the upside down method. Oh yeah, oh yeah. How did this turn out? Oh, rip. We're gonna flip this one. Not very good, huh? I mean that. Ah, uh, it's not that good. We didn't put that much seasoning in there. We didn't want to go too crazy. It smells. That's potent there. We can you can always do it. At, like this is a big container. We're just trying out some new little container edge here. I don't like this. Apparently container. this one freaking sucks. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks absolutely freaking mint. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. So same thing. 
with the rest of these. We might need to throw a little bit more seasoning in here potentially, we'll see. Throw her in the old egg wash, throw her in the old basket. We're gonna try these guys as well at the same time. Boom. All right, all right, give her the old shake here. Oh yeah, oh decent. All right, we're good to go. Let's get these suckers in the fryer. Bonzo is doubting my catfish cooking abilities here when it comes to bullhead. He's just, he doesn't think the bullhead's gonna be fired. Especially the stomach meat. Ooh, that did not turn out very good. We, lo we lost a little bit of that, but we can always throw some on after. So go ahead and we're just gonna give this guy a little dunk. I've never fried, I don't think I've ever fried in just straight up seasoning. Like we used flour, but the flour was on the inside of the egg. Normally the flour is on the outside. So this could turn out like total just garbage. We're not really sure. But once they start floating, you can take them out and then we're gonna throw a little bit more seasoning on top of them, see how they taste. Oh gosh, Shoo! Might have got a little toasty there, folks. Yeah, maybe. See, I cranked it up to the highest on that. Oh God, these are more than golden crispy. What's, what's it say to do? Oh, it says fish to do at 300, and I was doing it at 375. Rip. I've always done it at the highest it could go. It's a new fryer, so. I don't, maybe it won't be burnt, maybe it's the seasoning that makes it darker. This is a moment I'm not proud of, folks. It just, it doesn't look good. It could be the seasoning. We're not sure. Yeah, it was definitely, it was definitely me. This thing says 300 to fry fish. I think it's a little low, but I'm gonna go for the old tummy meat. You're not, you said you're afraid of the tummy meat, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, this is the tummy meat. No, that's not tummy this meat. This is? No, 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 this is tummy meat. Isn't there two pieces of tummy meat? Yeah, I broke that off that. Oh, okay. So that's okay. tummy meat. Okay. And then this is- I'm regular. afraid of it, but I'm going in. Oh, it's cooked. Oh, snap. Wow. Oh God, that's super flavorful. Woo! Woo! <laughs> what you talking about, that's good. Whoa! The old, it's a little, little spicy. It's got some spice to it there, son. Yee -yee. I want to try a That's non. Good. You want to try some, some just fillet? That wasn't bad. This fillet seems a little mushy. That's better. I think that's a. God, it's right. That's really good. It's right in the throat. I like this. If you guys like spicy, it. this one's for you. It's good. You don't taste yeah. catfish. No. If you don't want to taste the catfish, this is this is the deal for you. Let's let's see what Zach thinks. All right, Zach. This is you got belly meat. Okay. And you got a big fillet, and it doesn't really look. Either one does not look appetizing, to be honest with you. But you pick whatever you want. This is a belly. Sure. All right. Bullhead for the. First I would. Time. I, I would. I probably that's wouldn't big, full send the whole bite. That's a big chunk. Full I, send. Maybe just you could just take a half a bite. We'll go, we'll yeah, just half. take a little rip. Pretty oh, good. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. You're good. It's a little strong. Yeah, that's good. Cool. You don't you don't mind it. Me and Bonzo, we thought it was a little bit strong. It just we what we should have done. See, here's the thing. We've I done mean, we've done fries where we where we mix the seasoning with the flour, and you don't really taste the seasoning. So we went just straight seasoning. It's a little bit much. Mm -hmm. If we would have done like maybe like a 75 25, like 75 percent seasoning, 25 percent yeah. flour. That piece was pretty. Was that? <laughs> that was pretty strong. A little more potent. Yeah. A little, little potent. I mean, I I don't for, for like for bullhead. I, I thought it was, no bullhead. That's good. <laughs> Don't okay, that piece of salad wasn't that as bad. I, I like. Kind of depends what you get. Less breading helps. Yeah, it's just strong. Yeah, but you don't taste I'm fish. Surprised, like, well, like it tastes. It doesn't taste. It doesn't really taste like bad at all. Mm. Anyways, you want to try it? You no, know it's like it's like you empty the salt shaker and the cap accidentally comes off, and then you still have to eat the food. That is exactly what it tastes like. It's very similar in that aspect of just. It's not bad. It's just a lot stronger than it should be. It's potent. But it's not a bad flavor. It's just flavor is good. Yeah, too much. There's a lot of it. Too much. If we did like the the 80 20, like 80, you're saying, 80, 80 20. That's way to do we it. we yeah. we need it. We're, we're still dialing, folks. We're new. Okay, we're trying some prototype seasonings. Okay, that seasoning is actually designed for like just being a freaking seasoning. Like, are you, you need a little bit of it. Did it hit you finally? It's, it's just real dry after you swallow it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a dry yeah. rub. It's it's really strong. We're, we're working on it because that seasoning is designed to be an actual seasoning. It's not designed to be a fish fry, but we're kind of experimenting with you know maybe adding a little bit of flour, doing a 50 50, doing a 75. 25 like whatever the mix might be we're trying to dial it in for you guys because at some point we're going to launch these seasoning and we're going to integrate them into the fish right and we're going to do all the legwork for you guys so we can come up with the dope recipes for you guys so you don't have to endure what bullshit's oh, that's enduring right now which is Good. a little bit a little strong finn it's a little bit strong come here buddy come here bud it's just a little strong you wouldn't like it trust me it's just a little bit strong anyways hope you guys enjoyed today's video i mean today's video consists of us eating we ate i mean you ate the land sea and air burger i, I did Congrats. I, 
still full. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say no, that's hungry. the other problem is no, none of us are really hungry. We're just we're literally eating it because that's we we wanted to eat one. We want to try a bullhead. Um, and it wasn't too bad. And Bonds, you tried the uh, the old chicken on chicken on chicken. What was it called? It was the uh, big Mick chicken. The big Mick chicken. I had the old bang gang. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want any Guggen Squad gear, shirt, hat, anything like that, uh, it'll be linked down below. And you get fifteen percent off your entire purchase at GuggenSquad.com. Use promo code Flair. Fifteen percent off. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks, and peace.